we're on a flat roof right now and we can see this roof has lots of penetrations uh, vent pipes uh, air conditioning pipes line sets and all that and uh, originally the roofer did it like a temporarily he sealed it with uh, just caulking just regular silicone and uh, with this pipe here everything is sealed with with the silicone uh, on the flat roof on a membrane it could be a problem down the road especially in the winter time when everything moves the silicone will crack will have a leak the, uh, there are a few things to do it properly uh, once one way is to do with a with a modified membrane to do all around the pipes like the neighbor did but still uh, it's a time consuming you you can burn the pipe and uh, we're gonna do it differently we're gonna put one part sealant which is specifically designed for the situations like that and i'm gonna show uh, you how uh, we do it on the metal brake i bent myself uh, pieces of aluminum could be any metal but uh, we use aluminum uh, and i bent th uh, three quarter by three quarter uh, because in this particular case I want to have a three-quarter height of the of the ceiling then I cut with the snips lots of cuts every three-quarter of an inch every half inch because it's easy to uh, it's easy to work with when it's lots of cuts right and then I'm going around the pipes to have at least one inch around the pipe even more I would say and uh, to to shape my uh, my form around those pipes the way that when I pour the, the sealant uh, it will it will be in that shape now my, my forms are done See, it's a three-quarter inch aluminum L-shaped forms I went around the pipes I didn't want to go in one piece because I want the water to run from that from that part of the roof in between them I went around those pipes and I went around these pipes and uh, the big point here you have to put caulking on that side of the form you have to because if you leave a little gap the, the uh, one part sealant it's so liquid it will go through any any crack in any little hole even those the, the screws the, the hole in the form they will be covered with this uh, sealant and they will they will be completely sealed so uh, make sure you, I, 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 I learned it the hard way when I put the form and the sealant and next morning uh, all sealant was inside the house so let me put the sealant in the forms now all right those three are done you can see overflow is fine because the roof is sloped you have to make sure that one side is completely filled so the water can run out of the of the form right so you'll see the top of the form is a little low uh, like you can see the edge but on the on the bottom it's totally full it's totally fine so if you see a little, a little bit of overflow it's okay it's not a problem so i have to just finish this form i usually start from the top really careful not to overflow it because this thing is really expensive uh, it's expensive thing so you don't have to you know to waste a lot and be careful it's really liquid and sticky so if you want to move from side to side you have to be really careful you probably can spill some but now I have to go here So even if it's not full enough, I can stop a little bit and and wait. And see if it's if it's enough. I think I'm gonna have enough here because I can see it's already, it's it's already over the top on the edge. So it dries pretty long, long time. It will have a skin on it maybe in a few hours and then it dries slowly probably 
week, week and a half. But it's okay uh, to do it a few hours before the rain, so it will have a skin. And after after two three hours, uh, rain is not it's not a problem, and uh, it will be sealed and will never leak in this spot around the pipe. 